Hey guys and girls, it is Shimmy Shea here, and today I am going to be explaining the elevator method for shifting. So the elevator method is really, really easy. It's super simple. Basically, it's where you visualize your designated reality self, because a lot of people make themselves look different, going onto an elevator, and you start imagining your designated reality's bedroom and like what's going to be happening. You visualize your script, you visualize where you're going to go to, and then when you finally for yourself to begin to shift, you get to the top of the elevator, you exit the floor onto the floor of your your DR's bedroom, and then you go into your bed and you go to bed and you'll wake up and continue living in your designated, not designated, desired reality. And then I have noticed a lot of you guys have been, are you good? Sorry. And then I have noticed that a lot of you guys have been asking um, if you need a safe word to get out or what a lot of people use a safe word to shift out I personally do not use a safe word other than sometimes I tell myself I'm like hey time to go back to your current reality um, I did that once on accident I don't know why I thought I was like I need to go back now and then I left and I was like why did I do that but Usually, personally, for me, I'll be like, so I'm going to go for a week. And then I just go and I go a week and I time myself because I personally want to go throughout a certain amount of time because I'm going to Hogwarts. So I do want to go there seven years eventually, but I keep putting it off when I am going to go seven years. So I'm like, mm, I'm going to wait. Mm, I'm going to go a month. Uh, I'll go two weeks today. It just really depends on like how the day was, how I'm feeling, everything. It's a huge mix. But... I do recommend timing yourself when you're there because that just helps me know like, hey, when this amount of time is over, I'm just going to come back. There's no stress. I got all the time in the world because I'll come back and then the next day I can just come back again. So that is what I recommend. But remember, like, because a lot of people are freaked out about this method. They're like, why would I put myself to sleep right when I get there? Like, you're going to be there for a while. When you shift, it's not it's not dreaming. You're really there. So when you go to bed, you'll wake up and it will really be the next day and it will really be a day. So just remember, you have all the time in the world that you want to be there. You can even lengthen your time while you are in your desired reality. It's all up to you. But this one's a really good method. I've used this a couple of times. It's not my preferred method, but I really love it. So I thought I'd explain it to you. I hope you guys have a good day and I hope this was helpful. Thank you. Bye.